Hello, it's Sean's Hands from Gamers Switch Out, and look who it is. It's got our old friend Kerbal Space Program. Ah, Kerbal Space Program, I missed you very much. This is version 1.41 with the Making History expansion, which just released. Uh, tons of stuff in here. Some of it we will mess around with, some of it we won't. One of the big additions here is the Mission Builder. Uh, I'm just going to click it, and then we're going to get out of it because it's... It's very cool and very feature rich, and you can do a ton of stuff to create very specific types of missions with it. You know, you can, um, you know, create a mission to launch a certain rocket that you predefine with a certain Kerbal who launches from Duna and has to fly to Elu to rescue somebody in order. Like you can just kind of do all kinds of stuff. It's super feature rich, very, very cool, and way more complicated than anything uh, I am prepared to mess with. So I will mess around with that at some point, uh, but just wanted to show you it was in there because it's very cool. Uh, presumably, I hope you'll be able to download missions from, uh, yeah, community created missions. So eventually I'm assuming you can track down uh, missions other people have made. Um, go try those. There's also these, uh, you know, the Dawn of the Space Age, um, you know, so, uh, the ones that come with the game and you can kind of see they have certain you know expectations and i'll probably uh you know to the moon via minmus all kinds of cool stuff so this is something i'll play with eventually um and and i mean looks really cool like i'm excited to mess with it uh there's a bunch of these that squad just put in there they have a tutorial in here as well i'll be interested to see what they do with the tutorial um interesting i hadn't noticed that so you know orbit and so maybe a tutorial to learn how to orbit uh, of course they still have the trainings and scenarios but we want to start a new full game a career game of gwj plays because i just love the the progression uh, i really need to get my myself a gwj flag like i have all the stuff and i like that one let's do that one uh so yeah so awesome um super excited to be back uh, i don't know how i'll quite run this because there's a lot of medium time in Kerbal Space Program where you're just launching stuff and checking stuff out and, you know, kind of running missions to gain up science. I'm not sure how interesting that is to watch. Um, but for the for the first little bit here, we'll just we'll just go for it. Um, first thing we're going to do is get our basics. Uh, we're going to get yep, that we're going to get some scientific data from Kerbin. We're going to launch our first vessel. Um, and that's it. You can just get two to start with. Uh, we don't start well, our tiny research and development here. We have zero science, so we have only the basics. Not a big deal. Um, lots of additions in the game, um, including stuff. I mean, just lots of little stuff. Like there, there are more, uh, and you won't be able to see it right away, but uh, more, more parts. Uh, a lot of parts that really align with the Apollo program. That's very cool. You can switch quickly in here, like between the VAB and the uh, airplane editor menu. Um, they've done a little bit of work on the back end, so I think they've updated to uh, uh, the uh, the engine, which I should know what that is. It's it's the one. Unity. They updated the latest version of Unity, uh, like all kinds of stuff. I've tossed. Uh, the only thing I have in here that isn't stock is I have Kerbal Engineer, just because Kerbal Engineer just should be part of the program at this point. But here's a good example like this. Yeah, we'll use the. Uh, uh, I think this is sort of a Russian-inspired capsule, so that's good for uh, our first capsule. Um, yeah, crew capacity of one, uh, so we want to do a little bit of science on it. Uh, we'll toss some uh, toss some goo containers on there. Uh, we'll, uh, symmetry. How do you do symmetry? Is X right? Yeah. Uh, so we'll toss some goo containers on there. I gotta remember how everything works. Um, put a, uh, we'll do a launch. We're only supposed to do a launch, right? We don't actually have to do any altitude yet. Uh, nope, not what I wanted. Yeah, I'll just launch the first vessel. So we will actually take all the fuel out of here so we can just click it. Uh, and then we'll do some science from uh, Kerbin. Then we'll recover that and Go ahead and no, we're not going <laughs> to. Uh, no, don't don't worry about saving this particular craft. I don't think we'll be revisiting it. Uh, yeah, cool. So, oh, did I want to launch? Did I not? Yeah, launch. That's the thing I wanted. Ah, oh, Kerbals, I missed you so much, Jeb. 
buddy. I'm going to try very hard not to kill you. So we picked up some goo, got three science from that. We can do a, uh, a crew report from the landing pad, got three science from that, uh, 1.5 science. Um, we can do a quick EVA with him, get an EVA report, keep that, board back up, we'll launch. We did it. <laughs> assume, assume that completed the mission, right? Yeah, that had to have completed the mission. Got a milestone. Uh, where are our missions? Right there. Did we get it? Launch your first vessel off. <laughs> uh, I will assume we got it. Otherwise, we'll do it next time. Uh, let's see. Can you get dropped down? Go ahead and get some from the launch pad directly. Lay it on the ground. He's looking at something underneath the uh, little nap. Jeb got sleepy. Poor sleepy Jeb. All right, recover all that stuff. I don't think that actually counted our mission. That's fine, that makes sense. That probably shouldn't, because that would be cheesing it a bit much. Uh, that would give us a little bit of science, enough to get one, two things, two things. Basic rock, rocketry, uh, the decouplers, they changed all the decouplers from the ugly ones that nobody liked um, to the cool looking ones that everybody likes. So we'll grab some decouplers, a thermometer, that's more research. Basic rocketry, we got the first swivel engine, very, very cool. 3.9 science left over. Um, yeah, we will actually have to take off. So we will have to escape the atmosphere. I don't think we'll do that one right away here because we'll do a very super short, easy uh, mission. Uh, we can put a decoupler here now, which is great. Yeah, I like that decoupler much better. Uh, we'll need a parachute. Oop, that is uh, there. And you're not there. Does this come with a decoupler? Do I not need to? Can I not pull that apart? Okay. Trying to figure this out. Come on, button presses. This this used to make a lot more sense. Why am I having trouble? Uh, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. There we go. Okay. Get rid of that decoupler. Not sure what that was all about. Okay, so this this actually comes with its own decoupler. Cool. I wonder if all the the uh, cockpits have that now. Uh, we don't need as, we'll put some fuel in here, but not a bunch, that's plenty. We don't wanna go crazy. Uh, let's see, anything else I need to do? Oh yeah, let's put a thermometer on there. Let's put two thermometers on there once so we can get it off the launch pad and then when we land. Great, cool. That is gonna do our next little bit here. We don't need to throttle up. There's no point in really doing SAS, but we'll do it just to get in the habit of it. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab thermometer on the ground, walk that temperature, and we're going to go into the air for the first time. Hooray! And we did it! <laughs> and we're done! Oh, I love that. Oh, it's kind of like a little side thing. Come on, I can click them. Yeah, got it. Uh, we got that one. We'll do a crew report. Got that. Go ahead and pop that. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh, it's so fun. Well, temperature, very good. We got all this stuff. Oh, it looks like it's a little, it's like a little bulb. It's adorable. Now, I can, I'm not going to, but I can jump Jeb right on out of here, and he has... Oh, let's try it. Uh, we'll just save game, quick save. Now so I can just do F5. Uh, we're gonna do an EVA. I think I can get him quick enough. Oh. No, I can't even EVA him. Cause uh, one of the things they have added is uh, parachutes. So he can go skydiving. Good for you, Chubb. You can do it. Uh, we'll speed up until we land. Physics warp has never hurt anybody. So I'm totally fine with that. I'll get up, get a little bit more science. Uh, 
Boop. Hey, even that thing survived. It's still spinning. Okay. It's very interesting. It's very sci-fi. Uh, let's go ahead and grab an EVA report. Board you back in. EVA you back out. I mean, one of the next things we're obviously going to do is build a little local rover. Thing's still spinning. Can I? Oh, <laughs> you can roll it. Can you roll? Oh, come on, you can do it. Come on, Jeb. Oh, that's going to be really useful. On, oh, look out. Um. <laughs> oh, I could play with this all day. I don't know why that's so much fun. It just is. This game has a oh I wanted I did want to get back in actually. Come on. <laughs> Tried to jump. That did that really well. This thing's very wobbly. Get there, Jeb. Alright, we're gonna get back in. Here we go. Okay, we're not going to get back and recover that stuff. Never mind. We'll get it next time, Jeb. Nice try. Uh, go ahead and recover that. Get a bunch of science. Get that all done. Very good job. All right, we actually have some missions now. What do we want to do? We're still a ways from orbiting Kerbin. Uh, is there anything? No, we could test the swivel engine while splashed down. We could test the heat shield. What do we have to do? Run test... Uh, while landed. Mm. Well, we can test the test stuff at the launch site is always easy. So we'll test the hammer engine at the launch site. And we will test something splash down. Nope. Test the heat shield landed at Kerbin. Oh, wait, I can't get it. Because I still have to do escape the atmosphere. That's all right. Uh, maybe we could escape the atmosphere. How much how much juice does the thumper have in it? Uh, let's see. It's the thumper, right? The, or the hammer. That's the one. Boop. There we go. Um, is there other stuff I wanted to do? I don't think that's... It might have enough to get me out of the... No, it's not going to have enough to get me out of the the uh, atmosphere. We're not there yet. Oh, we didn't get science. No, uh, just don't say it. I know what I did. All right, so we have 30 science. What do we want? Uh, general rocketry is probably the way to go. That's the thumper. <laughs> Stability will be a little bit for airplanes Ooh, let's grab this anything that has research in the short term i am on board with we have 15 left that costs 20 that costs 18 we're done nice job uh, so we will we don't need that anymore but we will grab a couple of barometers one there and then one for when we're in the air then we'll head up over the uh the water, because then we can actually do some science in the water, too. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. This is gonna... This is gonna torque us up pretty nice. Alright, so we're gonna log the pressure data, keep that science, and get ready to go super fast. <laughs> nice. Well... Oh recover it nope <laughs> this is fine this is all how this is supposed to go we're gonna let that go come on you can get away <laughs> no Jeb okay well we're gonna learned an important lesson there uh, revert to launch so don't don't let go till we're ready we'll just let that thing run however it feels like it needs to sorry Jeb just had a vision of your death, but you're fine. Nope. Yep. I just run out. It's pretty good control. This is all fine. It's almost out of gas anyway. <laughs> just like NASA. Nope. 
can we get a crew report? No, that doesn't have anything. And I assume we're heading straight back down. Grab that. And we'll go down. Yeah, that didn't survive that time. Except where it blew up. Nice. Or is, no, that's our that's our shadow. I like the little halo effect from the parachute. Why did I have to look at it to remember what the word parachute was? Do we have 1.6? And I think we already have temperature. Yeah, that won't do us any good. All right, we'll accelerate down. Grab a little more science on the ground here because I don't think we've done some of these here. And pop, still spinning. Grab that. Grab that. Grab that. Yes. Crew report. Very good. Then we did get our. We already grabbed that, I think. Did we get this last time? Yeah, we did. All right. We'll cover him. Three super fast missions. Everything's super successful. There it is. 39 more science. So we will snatch up some general rocketry. And we have 19 left over. Great. We can get stability too. Awesome. Okay, now we can actually do something. Now we can stop being so silly. We didn't, yeah, we did do that. Uh, let's do the thing where we're splashed down. <sighs> what gives us a bunch of money? Let's give us three science. We have to test it in flight over Kerbin. I think we can figure out a way to do that. Actually, this is probably better. Yeah, and I think I know how I want to do that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right, here's what we want to do. We want to see if we can escape the atmosphere this time. So let's go with something a little more, more familiar. Good old Mark I. Uh, we're still going to want all of our science stuff. Uh, so there there was it to copy yeah alt right oh except i don't want gotta remember all my key bindings give me that There we go. And a parachute. Parachute. That's plenty. Now, out of curiosity, does it come automatically with a detach? No, this one does not. The other one does. Okay. So we do need a decoupler here. We do have a radial decoupler, which we actually are going to want. Let's go ahead and put two here along with an engine. One of the swivel ones. And we're going to put some side decouplers on. Just like that. We are going to put those because we want to test what? Fleas. So here's what we're going to do. We're actually going to lift off first and then activate the fleas once we're in the air. Assuming we have enough power to do that. So we're actually going to move this up here. We're going to activate that stage first and see if that can give us enough delta V to get off the ground. And let's see, stage one, it does look like, right? Yeah, thrust, thrust to weight ratio is fine there. So we're gonna try and do both these things. Um, we're gonna lift off and then we're gonna use these once they're in the air as a booster. I think you can just do the testing 
by staging it? Oh yeah, in fact, you have to do it at a certain altitude. Can we get that high with just this stage? I think maybe we can. Let's try it. If nothing else, we'll do the atmosphere and we'll do some science over the water and it'll all be worth it anyway. So one, two, disengage, disengage, and then that. Cool. We'll try that. So we don't want to be going, one of the things that's tricky here, we want to be going a certain speed between 31,000. 31, so we'll see how that goes. Turn SAS on. Okay, that's going to be too fast. And we're not going to do any turning here. We're not trying to do an orbit. So we just want to keep it as steady as possible. I probably put a, should put some fins on there or something. sure we're going to get to 31,000 with this stage. Yep, but we'll still get out of the atmosphere. All right, that won't be enough to get us to 31,000. I don't think since we're only 10% of the way there and practically out of fuel. Okay, well we are going to go to space then. Assuming we can control the ship, which it does not appear we can do. We're not going to space. <laughs> Are we going to go over the water? We are going to go over the water. Um, so we got up to 10,000. Can we do a crew report from up here? Coast, nope. Let's see what happens once we get over the water. That can all go away. Goodbye. Come on. Don't tell me you're not even going to get to the water. This is a failure. Uh, a failure in every conceivable way. Nope, we're going to revert. Revert to launch. Because we do want to try and get over the water. So we are going to actually tip this time a bit. There we go. The swivel engines are nice for that part. And that you do have some more control. So maybe we will go ahead and stage the solid rocket boosters because the swivel will give us some degree of control, maybe. Yeah, let's try it. I like that plan. Yeah, the swivel's doing its work. There we go. Nice job. We got really fast. Okay, and that can go. Now, uh, curb and shores, nope. We want to get a crew report from over the ocean? Yeah, curb and waters. That's what I wanted. Will we get anything by observing mystery goo here? Eh, tiny bit. Go ahead and keep it. Uh, how about the barometer? Nope. Yeah, that works. All right, and we'll put that out and we'll go down to the water and go from there. So we got a little more science. I think our next, our, our first real mission, instead of trying to bundle these all up together, is we're just going to want to flat out leave the atmosphere. And we can do that. We have the technology to do it. We have the manpower. We have, we have the will. Oh. Softly falling into Kerbin Seas. Kerbin's weird line in the middle of the ocean seas. Nice, nice, nice. And grab some more science. Science the goo. Very good. I should be reading those. Like they're always, the, the flavor text is always like, wait, are we sinking? Does this thing sink now? No. That was just for some reason I had the perception it did. Uh, so we got all the stuff. We already did a crew report, so we aren't gonna do that again, but we will EVA. You can take a look at that. Board to another EVA and then go in the water. And we will save him. OK, 
Okay, can I please recover the vessel? I guess I lost some of the science. We'll get it another time. 28 more science earned. Just banged a bottle against the uh, against the microphone, so that was pretty nice. Ton of money, 161,000. We will do one more. This time we will go to space. Um, we have 29, so we can't grab anything else. All right, now let's do it for real. So here's what we're gonna do. We are going to go to space. I'm gonna put a couple of these on with a, we'll do a Reliant here. And we'll do another decoupler. And we'll do a little few more here. Nope, there and there with a swivel engine and we're going to boost with the thumpers right up from the start so those go first we're going to need some wings like that i guess i want to that's kind of ugly i want to limit the thrust on these i don't want to go crazy it's limited to about half. What does that change? We want thrust to weight about 1.3, I think. And we'll probably put this down here in a very low setting, just so we have some degree of control from the swivel thrust. Let's try that. Go ahead and throw some nose cones on there for fun. Our goal here is just to escape the atmosphere. Oh, it's too heavy. Okay, well, these are going to have to go, and we will replace them with the hammers then. And that thrust to weight ratio is 2.9. Bring that down here. Bring down that, that down quite a bit, just like that. Just so we got some boost to kick it up. We'll see if we can escape the atmosphere like that. That shouldn't be too heavy. Where's aerodynamics? There it is. Is this the one I want? The winglet. Get out of the way, Colonel. Basic fin. Maybe I just want this. Maybe I want the fin. There we go. And we'll try that. So staging there or there. Detach those, then detach, then activate the second stage. Just trying to get out of out of uh, the atmosphere. That's all we're trying to do here. Got those thrusts limited. We're going to put her uh, just so it has some control to it. There we go. That's a nice controlled launch. Feel real good about that one. I think we're even we're not even going to worry about trying to you know kind of well maybe we'll turn a little bit i wonder if we can let's save it real quick and see if we can still have some control there we go yeah well sort of sort of try and not make sure i don't tip over Jeb's not a master pilot yet. Nice control descent to 5,000. We should clear the atmosphere with this one. Maybe even get, gather some science from space. Liquid fuel's almost gone for this stage. Let those solid rocket boosters finish up. telling us oh I didn't didn't I need to put a Kerbal engineer um, apparatus on it to find out things like our apoapsis let's check though apoaps up to I just want to get it to 70 let's get it up to 80,000 just to be clear we are definitely going to clear out of the atmosphere good 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 
Excellent. And we're going to space. We'll get up to 80 or 70K, and that'll be outside the atmosphere. Very nice. Very quiet. Why is it so quiet? Come on. Good. There it is. Thank goodness. All right. Let's gather space data while we're here. Uh, Mystery Goo. Goo seems to have clumped into a sphere and become brittle. Brittle is the word. Brittle. Uh, seems we're very much in space right now. The sky seems to be mostly below us. Good observations, Jeb. That's why you're a scientist. Uh, the instrument's three zero. It's as if we were in a vacuum. Well, okay, now you're just being obvious about the whole thing. Uh, and collect and recorded temperature data from the environment. Excellent. And now we are going to come down. We will save just to make sure See if we can deploy the chute and use our engines to slow our descent enough, and then we can save some of our, our stuff. Does this get anything up here? Yeah. Upper atmosphere. Let's get upper atmosphere data. Didn't realize that was a thing we could do. Awesome. Bunch of upper atmosphere data. All right, we are coming in uh, quickly-ish. Up near a thousand miles per second. Miles per second. <laughs> that would be horrifying. Um, okay. Do seem to have some. Uh... B. 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 See. Uh, like to see a little more slowing down. I have to slow down a lot faster than that. I should disengage all the stuff. Oh, okay. well, that's why we have this thing. Get rid of that. <laughs> that seems to be a problem. Uh, and then we'll come down in a much more orderly fashion, I think. Here's hoping. There's also the option of just burning that engine a bit. Yeah, we're slowing down much faster without that giant weight that we, I was hoping we could have it facing down, but I keep forgetting that's not how any physics anywhere works, but now we're fine. We just won't preserve the uh, thing which is about to splash down. Oh well. Ah, good old Kerbal Space Program. So I think we're probably going to wrap it up after this one, this mission. Uh, in the next, boy, I don't know. I might record it just for fun. Uh, I do want to do the gather all the science from around the Kerbal Space Station. So you can just kind of boost your science. Um, probably need to think about building a, a, uh, a space plane of some kind too and doing a couple of those missions we need to bump up a couple of our uh, our buildings since we're up around 280k i think uh, we want to go ahead and uh, be able to have more missions at one time uh, it still hasn't gotten just got to get that got to get that orbit in before you can get that i want to know what i forget what that thing is um so yeah we do still have the test the solid rocket booster which we will do at some point um Let's go ahead and upgrade that so we can have more missions. It's just 75,000. And now we can have up to seven. Uh, test the heat shield. I'll pick some of these. Let's grab our science. What do we want? More science. Uh, Got to get Space Junior, particularly if we're going to get, uh, uh, what do you call them? Oh, a radiator panel. I've never used those. Never really found the reason for it yet. 70 left get better fuel tanks and that's probably what i'll do struts are always a nice thing i have to say nothing of aviation uh flight control not really using mech jab right now get a different re-entry module i think we'll grab rocketry all right i think that's gonna do it for this episode i, I realize it's kind of a super chill game 
um, not as exciting as Space Wars and, you know, dying on Mars. But uh, this is my Zen game. This is just where I go to just chill, just launch rockets and occasionally they blow up and uh, try again. I love it. I love the Kerbal Space Program. So hope you enjoyed it. As always, my name is Sean Sands from Gamers with Jobs. Thank you for joining me for KSP and we will see you again real soon.